but I will finish it. Coming up, it never mattered what color you was. If you could spit, then you could spit. That's it, that's what it was back when motherfuckers were straight back, back and ciphering, fighting for life. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy JC coming to you once again with another bitty. Oh, <coughs> yeah, I knew I wasn't gonna stay quiet. And Eminem, this record, and Eminem album, MGK, this is Eminem. In a channel that's basically considered the Eminem channel. If you look at all my reactions and all my videos, I would say the majority of them are Eminem videos. Yeah, I know what I think about Eminem. And yeah, I thought I was gonna stay quiet. She Eminem, kill shot. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Let's listen to some of the things Eminem said. Let's see if y'all agree or if you disagree with me. Let's just get right into it, man. I don't, I don't, I don't wanna talk. Let's get right into this shit, yeah. I'm like a bitch, bitch. Shut the fuck up. Your fans become your haters. You done? Rihanna just hit me on a text. Hey. Last night I left hickeys on her neck. Wait, you just dissed me, I'm perplexed. Insult me in a line, compliment me on the next day. See, I like that line. You insult me in a line, you compliment me on the next. See, when I was hearing the MGK this, that's something that I that I that I thought myself. I'm like, wait, so you dissing him in one line, then in the next line you're saying he's the greatest rapper alive? And it just didn't happen that time. There was a few times when MGK would do that, where he would diss him in one line and then actually compliment him in the next. Really sorry you want me to have a heart attack. Uh -huh. Was watching Eight Mile on my Nauta track. Realized I forgot to call you back. Here's that autograph for your daughter. I wrote it on a starter cap. <laughs> So many things to decipher here was watching eight miles on my nordic track and that's in response to when when mgk says the last time you saw eight mile eight mile was from at home on a treadmill so that's eminem responding i like he named the the exact treadmill he's on he named the, the nordic track i actually went and googled the, the the treadmill he's using and it's not a cheap you know it's not a cheap treadmill you know what i'm saying that shit costs money a few racks but the line that continues that is also dope because he says uh realize that for got to call you back here's the autograph for your daughter i wrote it on her starter cap and that's obviously from stan which in a, in a way is kind of like saying that mgk is the stan Some people might have a problem with this line because they're probably gonna be like, yo, why, why does Eminem gotta bring sales into a diss record? But in, in my opinion, I, I personally believe he's just responding to, to when MGK is calling him old. So he's basically saying, okay, I'm old, but I'm still outselling you. So like, what the fuck does, like, does it matter? Like, does my age matter? I'm still me. Another response he had was in MGK's diss, uh, MGK talks about like, who the fuck names themselves after a fucking candy? Which that's not the reason Eminem is called Eminem. Eminem is called Eminem because of his initials, not because of the fucking candy. So then Eminem is kind of saying, who the fuck names themselves Machine Gun Kelly and, and, and has a bun? Um, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I can't no more. His daughter's mouth stealing food, but you're a fucking molehill. Now I'm gonna make a mountain out of you. Hey! Ho chill, like I like you put the chrome barrel to my bone marrow. Gonna beat you in a bow and arrow, so you'll run up on me like a phone bill. Spraying lead, playing dead. That's the only time you hold still. Hey. Yo, Slim, your last four albums suck. Go back to recovery. Oh, shoot, that was three albums ago. What do you know? Oops. Know your facts before you come at me, little goof. Luxury. Oh, you broke, bitch. Now, that, that, that's. That recovery line, I don't know how MGK meant it. So it's, it's it, because it basically has a double meaning. And, and the way Eminem responded to it, it also has a, a double meaning. So MGK said like, you know, your, your last four albums was, was like garbage, go back to recovery. Now that can be saying go back to the album recovery. Or initially when I first heard it, I thought it meant like go back to recovery. As in like you relapsed. Like, you're, you're on drugs. He's obviously talking about the album, but I'm just saying it can also have a double meaning of when he was recovering from drugs. You whack me. It's funny, but so true. I'd rather be 80-year-old me than 20-year-old you. Tell him hitting old age. Still can fill a whole page with a 10-year-old's rage. Got more fans than you in your hey. own city. Low kitty, go play. Feel like I'm babysitting Lil Tay. Got the ditty okay, so you stitch a whole yeah. day. Shooting a video, just hey. to fucking dig your own grave. Got you get your own wake. I'm the Philly goat. You ain't never made a list. Next to no biggie, no J. Next to Taylor Swift. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. There's just 
so much shit that was said here. And MGK's this, he said something at one point, like, that Eminem is basically looking at, at MGK as, you're the young me. So this is Eminem's way of saying, nah, you're not the younger me, you're the whack me. <laughs> I also like the line when he's talking about Lil Tay, like, he feels like he's babysitting, which Lil Tay needs some, some babysitting. You know what I'm saying? She had a control. Well, she was out of control. And then shooting a video just to dig your own grave is 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 fucking a nice punchline in my in my opinion. Considering the fact that on the on the video for the MGK this, you see that MGK has a shovel in that video, so he's basically you know that's 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 in reference of he's digging his own grave in that video, which in essence can be true because it's like I'm dissing you because you made that video, so in a way I'm making you, you know what I'm saying, dig your own grave. In the CEO, you about to really blow Kelly, they'll be putting your name next to time, next to Benzino. Why, motherfucker, like the last motherfucker saying alien vein, alien brain. Satanist, yeah. my biggest flop, so your greatest hits. Hey. The game's mine again, and ain't nothing changed but the lock, so before I slay this bitch, I'm gonna give Jade a kiss. Gotta wake up late, but day to this. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. See, that last line has like a fucking triple or quadruple meaning. It has so much meanings that I'm that I don't even that, that I'm lost. That your name is you, you've never been next to Biggie, no Tupac. You're you're actually next to Benzino and Jabru. That's Benzino. He's mentioning those people because those are people that he actually murdered. But that line when he says this game is mine again, ain't nothing changed but the locks. So before I slay this bitch, moi, give Jade a kiss. Now one meaning can be that when he says that the this game's like nothing's changed, you know. This game is his again. Nothing's changed but the locks. That can mean his hair, you know. The only thing that's changed is the locks, is the hair color, whatever. But when he says give Jade a kiss, the way he says it, it sounds like Jade a kiss, which is, in my opinion, one of the sickest rappers ever. So it can be a reference to Jade a kiss, but it can also just be, you know, what I'm saying his daughter, which also goes by Haley J. So you can interpret it however you want. It's your moment. Hey. This is it. As big as you're gonna get, so hey. enjoy it. Had to give you a career to destroy it. Lethal injection, go to sleep six feet deep. I give you a beat for the effort, but if I was three foot eleven, you look up to me and for the record, you would suck a dick to fucking be me for a second. Like a ball, I could get on my channel. Give your life to be a solidified. This motherfucking shit is like Rambo when he's out of bullets. So what good is a fucking machine gun when it's out of ammo? Had enough of yeah. that. Eminem, that's it. That's enough. I can't stand for seeing such. Such destruction. Had to give you a career to destroy it? That is, yo, that's crazy. Like, how many people before this knew MGK? Knew a lot about him. How many people, like, started, like, listening to it, to every to him or heard his name because of the whole Eminem this? That's basically what he's inferring right there. Made you pop, you know what I'm saying, for a little bit just so that I can bring you down. But then, what good is a machine gun with added ammo? That's basically saying, listen, you can throw whatever the fuck you want. Come with another disc. You can come with whatever you want. I ain't like, you ain't got nothing, you know what I'm saying? You, you empty, bro. You an empty clip. You got nothing left. This tatted up mama rapper, how the fucking him and I battle? He'll have to fuck him in my flannel. I'll give him my sandals, cause he knows long as I'm shady, he's gonna have to live in my shadow. Exhausting, letting fall from my offspring Like a gun barrel, bitch get off me You dance around it like a sombrero We can all see you fucking salty Cause young Gerald's balls deep inside a Halsey Your red sweater, your black leather You dress better, I rap better That flow change right there is sick And that whole, uh, you dress better I rap better. That's a direct response to, to when he said On his diss record that he dresses better than Eminem that he's the young version, basically he's the young Eminem, but that he dresses better, that Eminem is ugly. So, so Eminem's like, okay, you can dress better, I rap better. But that flow changed. A letter, little white toothpick, thinks it's over a pick. I just don't like you, prick, thanks for dissing me. Now I had an excuse on the mic to write, not a like, but really I don't care who's on the right, but you're losing the fight, you pick. Who else wanted kills, attempt fails, button L's, fucking nails, in these coffins that softest. Now, kill shot, I will not fail. You know, that, uh, that flow again, yeah, Eminem's flow, and I haven't, I haven't talked a lot about the flow, and, and, and I actually like the beat a lot. I like the beat, the flow, Eminem's punchlines are on another world. His lyrics, the content, he, there's so much going in this, actually, this track that it's, that it's absurd. I like how he mentions Joe again, you know what I'm saying? Joe, what's up? You know what I'm saying? Make that, make that record. You know what I'm saying? But you know, we, we all know Joe. Joe is scared. Yeah, Joe is scared. Joe, Joe, and this is coming from a big Joe fan. I'm from Jersey City. Joe Budden's from Jersey City. In the ciphers, you've always seen me say Joe Budden came hard, you know what I'm saying? He's a beast. 
But he ain't want that Eminem. We all know that. We, we all know he ain't want that Eminem smoke. I'm with the top still, but this idiot's boss pops pills and tells him he's got skills. But Kel's the day you put out a hit, the day Diddy admits that he put the hit out that got pop kill, eh? I'm sick of you being whack and still using that motherfucking auto tune, so let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. First of all, I know a lot of people complain about that line, but I don't think he's actually saying that that uh, um he's the reason Tupac died. That Diddy's the reason that Tupac died. That's not what he meant. He's saying that since Diddy will never admit to that, considering the fact that he never did that, you're never you're never gonna have a hit. I don't know why people had so much trouble understanding that. And then how how he's ending this this record right now with with the let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. You know, you wanted to talk about it. Let's talk about it. I'm sick of your mama rap mouth. Need to get the cock about it before we can even talk about it. Talk about it. I'm sick of your blonde hair and earrings. Cause you look in the mirror and think that you're Marshall Mathers. Yes. Don't mean you are and you're not about it. So just leave my dick in your mouth and keep my daughter out of you. You fucking. Oh. And I'm just playing, Diddy. You know I love you. So there you have it, man. Kill shot. Eminem destroying MGK. What y'all think about it? Let me know in the comment section. This is the this, this is what I like. I like having a discussion. That's my only reason for making videos in this channel. It's just because I want to have a discussion. So anytime a crazy, you know, Eminem song comes out, anytime there's any type of this record, I, I just want to have a discussion. I want to know what y'all think about. It. Also, if you made it this far, I want to ask, would y'all like to see a review? of the new Eminem album. It'll be similar to how I did his, his last album. If y'all interested in that, let me know in the comment section and I'll do a review of his last album. From a fan, what I thought about it. If y'all want to know what I thought about the MGK diss, I can do a review about that one too, which I don't I don't think it was a bad diss at all. I think it was actually pretty good. Now, before ending the video, my final thoughts is, I think Eminem won. You know, I give Eminem one. I give MGK a good uh, E for effort. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it was actually a pretty... Pretty good diss. It's just that he went up against somebody who's legendary. If this was against any almost anybody else, uh, MGK had a good chance of winning. His diss was actually pretty fucking good. I know a lot of people are probably, no, not the majority, but there is going to be a, a good part of people, a good amount that, that are going to, you know, gravitate more to MGK's diss. And I feel there's a few reasons for that. If I have to compare beats, MGK had a way better beat than Eminem. Opinion, my opinion, just my opinion. Uh, He had a better hook. And those two things in this era is basically what makes a hit song. If you have a nice beat and you have a nice hook, that's it. Everything doesn't matter. You can literally mumble your way. That's it. You got a hit. So people who are not into lyrics, people who, who won't listen to, to a diss, diss track over and over, just trying to find what the fuck did he mean in this sentence? What did he mean in this sentence? Maybe this was a response to this. Like People who don't like that shit, who just listen to it one time, they listen to the beat and that's it. They don't even know what the fuck they said in the song. Or they need basic ass lyrics lyrics to be able to comprehend better. Once they start hearing a little uh, complex words, they just be like, nah, nah, this shit whack, this shit ass. Then those people, they're gonna, they're gonna gravitate more to MGK. People who actually like to listen to break down the song and everything, they're gonna gravitate more to Eminem. When you look at what was said, the content and everything, Eminem wins easy. But that's my opinion, my opinion doesn't matter. Let me know what y'all think in the comment section. If you like this video, hit that like button. Subscribe to my channel and comment. Let me know what y'all think. I really got to figure out what I want to do with this channel. I am so sorry that I almost don't post videos here. I post videos like maybe once a month from, and it's, it's more like maybe once every few months. But it's because I don't really know the direction I want, I want to take this channel. Right now, I'm at a point where this channel is basically the Eminem show. You know, anytime Eminem comes out with music is when I come back. If Eminem comes with an album, I try to review it. If Eminem comes with a new a video, I try to do it. If Eminem comes with a song, I try to do it. It's basically the Eminem channel, but but I don't know. Maybe maybe I start adding you know other artists into it. Maybe I start adding a little bit more to Drake or and, and anybody else who's pop. But let me know what y'all think about it in the comments. And I go always, I'll see y'all on the next video. Oh.